investigation. Doctors and nurses say being hit, kicked, or worse is part of a normal day at work, and they want change. 75% of all workplace assaults reported annually take place in a healthcare or social services setting, according to OSHA. South Carolina is one of a handful of states without added legal protections. News to Sophia Arizoza ask why. The accounts are shocking. Verbal aggression, threats of violence. Doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers physically and verbally assaulted at work. You often don't hear about somebody um, being kicked in the stomach or kicked in the teeth or having their hair pulled or things like that. South Carolina, just one of three states without added protections for healthcare workers. MUSC's chief nurse, Greg Mansfield, says getting lawmakers' attention is difficult because the problem is underreported. We hope that by gathering information and reporting it more statewide, that our legislators might uh, be more aware of the concern that this puts our care providers in. That's why MUSC launched a campaign to remind people it's not part of the job. State Representative Wendell Gilliard says legislation is long overdue. It's dangerous, and if we don't do anything about it, then nothing happens until a tragedy uh, presents itself and then everybody want to say, oh man, we should have done this and we should have done that. Right now, there's a bill in the South Carolina Senate introduced by Senator Thomas Alexander that would make injuring a health care professional at work an assault and battery of high and aggravated nature offense. And so many times now, there's really no consequence to prevent them from committing some type of act against this person who's trying to help them. Another bill in the House imposes greater penalties to those who assault health care professionals while they work. Pediatric critical care doctor Elizabeth Mack says she's not convinced stricter legislation is the answer. They don't necessarily um, know that they're acting in a violent way or don't intend to act in a violent way. And so um, while that approach has been taken in some other places, I think our approach is more one of trying to put into place systems that can keep the patient safe and keep us safe. Systems like the new Pediatric Behavioral Event Response Team launched at MUSC this May. And that is a group of multidisciplinary team members that go to the bedside and say, hey, how can we help when somebody either is escalating or when somebody um, has already been violent. Doctors, nurses, chaplains, and security professionals taking matters into their own hands to ensure hospitals remain as places of healing. Because if we can't be safe, then we can't be our best to take care of the patients. The two state bills are in the Judicial Committee. There's also a federal bill that would require the Department of Labor to take steps to address health care workplace violence. Representative Wendell Gilliard is holding roundtable discussions with the goal of drafting his own legislation. Reporting in studio, Sophia Souza. Count on two. If you have something you want us to investigate, email us at the investigators at wcbd.com.